up, folks? Welcome to the stream. We're gonna play some Barony today. That's what we're here for. Y'all here for it? Yes! I did some playtesting as the merchant class on Monday by myself. I found that the new shop situation combined with the other shop balance stuff we've been doing is actually in a pretty good spot. I guess maybe you'll notice that I changed what these buttons look like here. They're in sort of an experimental state, but I kind of like how these look. I didn't really like the other ones. The curve on the right side just kind of threw me off. But our pixel artist, Matt, has also provided another panel that I haven't tested yet, so I would like to test that. Since I already tested the game as the merchant and I reached the end of the game uh, with legend skill, really just buying stuff that I wanted. So I wasn't doing any exploits or just buying stuff just to get skill. I'm feeling pretty confident that the shop balance is in a pretty good state. I don't think that every character necessarily should have legend trading skill by the end of the game, but I want to make sure that if you start with zero charisma and zero trading skill that you still enjoy shops. So that's what I'm doing today as I'm going to test as a cleric. I'm going to be a human just because otherwise shopping's going to be hard. Let's call this cleric the crusher. What's up, Garvikin? Thanks for tuning in, dude. All right. All right, let's go. Let's just start crushing things as the crusher. Hopefully we'll get good shop spawns. This is where the fun begins. So the big change to shops is that now that they feature four consumable items, and by consumable, I mean literally any item that once you use it, it's gone. Reduce the atoms. The reason why I wanted to, it to be consumable items is because that motivates the player to use those kinds of items more. And you can always say, oh, I want another one of those items. Because once you use it, it's gone. There's going to be a few other things uh, in this build that you may not have seen, such as these taunts. Prepare thyself, stinking skeleton. I'm getting combat music, and maybe it's just the skeleton right there seeing me. I should have let the human get the kill there. Yes. Yeah, get him, human. Goodbye. Oh, I guess my iron bracers took on another blessing. That's really great. So most of this playtest is going to look like normal gameplay testing to you. There's been a few other changes. Well, I may not have mentioned that we made a change to some of the level generation where one thing you may not know is that if a door from a room... <laughs> Watch and learn. Oh, my shield's already broken. That's too tragic for me. If a door from a room ends up right next to a wall in the level generation, the game deletes the wall that's in front of that door so that it can burrow paths between rooms, which is a really cool feature. Let's go ahead and drink this. We're pretty low on health. This run should have some more health potions in it than game balance used to permit. That was a good feature, you know, the doorways burrowing through the level to make like paths between rooms. That was cool. But gates did not do the same thing. And so in order to make some of the new variants that I had made, the new room variants I had made with gates in them, they had some weird generation, like they would lead to dead ends and shallow closets more frequently than doors did. So we made a change to the level generator so that the gates would also burrow through walls. So yeah, Wall of Justice made the change so that gates now burrow the same way doors do, but then that added a bunch of bugs to levels and it revealed some weird behavior. Doors and gates themselves were getting deleted when they shouldn't be. So a fix to that has been put into this build. I need to heal you. You're gonna die. Yeah, Undead let's heal you. Scum. Oh, it's too late. Vengeance. Man, I was about to heal that human, but I just wasn't fast enough. So yeah, to finish what I was saying, doors and gates were getting deleted when they shouldn't, and so you'd have like a lever that's supposed to lead to a door but wouldn't lead to anything at all. It just wasn't behaving properly. That's been fixed, and so I'm doing testing now to make sure that we should have a new binding now for interact tooltip next. Okay, good. That's already on right. So you so need a little help, huh? Recruit you. Does it hurt? <laughs> All right, broke another shield, that's okay. So yeah, with any fix like that that affects level generation, you really just can't. I'm actually gonna trade out this cloak because it uh, matches my headband. That's a good reason, right? I think not. So because effectively all level generation has changed a little bit and I need to test enough so that I catch any like odd edge cases where that causes bad behavior in the level generator. So I'm hopeful that it will just fix things and not break anything else, but yeah, that's what testing is for. Like games often behave as you would not expect them to. So we're testing. We're not just testing shops or the cleric class. 
Oh, uh, yeah. We're testing all sorts of things today. It's a good day for a play test. In some other news, some members of our team uh, have some things going on in their lives. And so we're on a hot path toward ship with the quality of death update, but life happens. And so we might need to face some delays and it's okay. It's gonna be all right. You see deadly spikes at the bottom of the pit. Well, duh. We're gonna do what we can to stay productive during this time. I'm hopeful that it won't cause any noticeable delays, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys, that when you have a team of three people and any amount of them have some unusual life events affecting them, it, it makes a big difference, you know? I made a change. It used to be that all bronze weapons would wait until floor five to spawn on the ground. I made it specifically so that maces may spawn. And the reason for that is that skeletons drop swords, spears, and axes, but not maces. The mace is the most obvious weapon that's good versus skeletons. Like, Anybody who's played a fantasy RPG kind of knows that maces tend to be preferred against skeletons, but the game never drops them. So if you don't start with one, you feel like, you know, the skeletons are way too hard and you don't really know what to do. So I added maces to the drop list for uh, the levels, um, starting at level one. And the result of that is that I found an excellent level, uh, an excellent mace. Chew on this, creep! But, uh... Of course, it uh, happened to be cursed. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. I want that staff, but I don't think I have a way to get it. If I wasn't on a controller, I could get it. I mean, I still can, so let's... 2,000 years later. Mm, I still can't get it. I turned off interact aim assist, but it's still on. I guess that's just a bug, eh? Yeah, it's still on, so the option doesn't work. <laughs> well, it's a bug. That's okay. It happens. What's up, Grotesque Mannequin? Good to see ya. You kind of missed my introduction on everything that I've, um, uh, that I, that has been changed recently and that we're testing. Uh, what, you might have noticed there that the, um, spiders now have great animations and stuff for combat. Their combat behavior has actually changed a little bit, too. I won't spoil what that is. Uh-oh, we got a dead human here. All this would be good for my ally, but I don't think sh I'm not a good enough- Oh, I, I am a good enough leader to make her pick it up. Okay. What kind of weapon you got? An axe? Oh, she's got a spear. It's probably better. All right. Actually, these boots might... Actually, I'll just use these boots for myself. Yes, I stole her boots. That's okay with me. She's probably not gonna live anyway. We'll try to help her live. We'll do our best. I'm a cleric, not a monster. One of the reasons why I picked the cleric be is because the cleric starts with minus one charisma and uh, zero trade skill. Once I do run into shops, I'm hoping to get sort of the kinds of experience that most players who, uh-oh. Surprise! No! Dang it! <laughs> I tucked into it behind that table thinking that the boulder is coming the other way, but it actually came from the side. I got flanked. Let's just do a restart though. That's all right. Uh, you know, last time I played, I died quite a bit to boulders and my runs got cut short, and before I started today, I said to myself, Self, you're gonna die a few times today, but you really should keep playing until you get some good testing in with shops. A few inches later. Oh crap, Algernon! Get him! Where's Algernon? Where's Algernon? Where's Algernon? There's no way there's no Algernon. Maybe Algernon is in a jail cell, and so all of the allies are, uh, out and about. They all came from here. Where the heck is Algernon? Get him. All right. We're raising our leadership skill. What's in here? Ah, okay. I know what this is. Come on, boys. Come on. There we go. Oh, my rats just got killed. Who came in? Oh, Algernon. Oh, ghoulies. I have lunch for you. Okay, great. Wow, so to start the game and have Algernon's uh, Emerald is a pretty good way to start. Seeing the Barony has been more popular on Twitch lately. I did not see that, that's great. You forgot that Algernon is white, yeah. Yeah, I love that Algernon looks different. I really like that uh, um, enemies look different now. Oh, we got alchemy supply. All right. I like this little room. I think it's cool. And you can't you can't leave while the boulders are on, so that's like a nice thing that prevents you from hearing annoying boulder sounds the whole time. 
I mean, you can if you break the walls or whatever, but unless players really want to, they won't have to listen to that sound all the time. Good job, ghoulies. Wow, another alchemy kit. What's my alchemy skill? Oh, the cleric starts with 20 alchemy. I forgot about that. Hmm. Okay. So, it appears that this doorway deleted this gate. This is the bug I was talking about from earlier. Because this gate was one block away from this door, it got deleted. So I may just not have the latest build, unfortunately. It's a shame that uh, this playtest will not be effective for testing that bug. We still haven't identified any Olympics. So one of the things that I've done, since I dramatically increased the value of Olympics, that means they're harder to identify because an item's identification difficulty is based on its value. And I'm actually fine with this. I think the game didn't have enough things that were hard to identify besides gems. And just broadly speaking, Oh, what happened there? They just killed a skeleton, is that all? Oh, glasses, I'll, I'll definitely use this. Well, I was gonna let my guys kill him, but they were too slow. Let's get the other shield on my hotbar. Plus two constitution? Heck yeah, dude, that's a plus three AC ring. I mean, plus five AC ring? What? Oh, okay, two for the blessing and three for the constitution. That's an insanely good ring. Okay, we got a cursed Olympic. We'll, mm, I'll keep that for now because it's worth 91 gold and my weight is fine. Items that are actually worth a substantial amount of gold are quite a bit rarer now, which may seem like a nerf, but most items in the shop are actually quite a bit cheaper now because of that. So if I want to buy a stack of like water or acid, that's going to be a lot more affordable than it was. And so having even just one item that's worth like 100 gold could could go a long way. Okay, we got it. Eh, all right, I'm going to keep it. I'm very happy to have this identified. I think I'll wait until I can make a strength potion because like a strength potion is really good for a cleric. All right. Oh, great. I'm in a tar level. My pet hungers for human flesh. It does not linger here for much longer, mortal. All right. Ghouls. Go get them. <laughs> Wham. All right. Where's this? Oh, his hat must have broken on contact with the ghouls. Gotta find the exit. Gotta find the exit. Ooh, a plus one bronze mace. All right, that'll be a good replacement if this iron one breaks. Crap, I've got a long trek. I'm tempted to go ahead and brew that speed potion. Notice I was using the gamepad to brew on the go. That was fun. Little um, demonstration of how if you know what you're doing, you can be pretty good with the gamepad. Ooh, we got some potions. I'm glad I found those before it's time to go. Ooh, blessed a piece of equipment. It looks like all my stuff got blessed. Uh-oh. All right. Oh my gosh, and we got a shop. Can we sell anything? Can sell that. Crap, we gotta go. Oh crap, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? I think we're gonna make it. No, so close. <sighs> Man, that was so close. I got seduced by the shop because that's the that's the point. I've got we got one of these bugs where if like the mouse is on screen, then it like the cursor has a hard time knowing what to do. See, I can't click away from this. I believe I reported that. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna check real quick on the status of that bug. So I would like to kind of introduce you guys to our bug tracker. So this is our bug tracker. It's currently filtered to only show my bugs. But when I file a bug, I'm looking at this uh, sheet that I made. I filed this as a split screen bug, but I'm guessing that the fix should have fixed all of uh, instances of it occurring. So I, uh, it's currently set to uh, deployed. Um, but I don't know if it's deployed in my build yet or if it's just merged in with the latest code base. So um, I will reproduce, I'm just gonna write this in single player using a gamepad on Windows. <laughs> so I'm just leaving a note there. All right, well, I only have myself to blame for this death because I got greedy with the shop because as I said before, like one of the big things we're trying to test with this build is making sure the shop experience is good. So I was all excited to see that there was a shop. I was like, I could probably just sell two things and then go. But it was literally that one thing that I saw, like I sold a tomahawk. I was like literally one step away from that. I took my second pummeling. It was fun to run into Algernon right at the start of the level and he used my summons. 
because those ghouls were pretty cool. Thank you. If you, you know, how whatever you think is an editing experience that you would enjoy, you know, would encourage you to just do that. That way, I'm, if it turns out that you do like editing my streams, I would want it to be like, it, it should reflect some of what you enjoy about the process. And I don't want to be a dictator about that kind of thing if you're just a free collaborator, you know what I mean? So yeah, I would say just keep any sort of like vulgarity or innuendo to a minimum or just avoid it because I deliberately don't want to be me. that kind of person on stream. I don't swear. Wow, I threw that potion, but it barely healed her at all. I was just saying, can you download a VOD from Twitch, which is a video on demand? Like, is it possible to download my videos? Because I know I can see a place to download them in the video creator dashboard, but I don't know if you have that option. That skeleton knows where we are and is going to come around to meet us the back way. Yep, called it. Are you still standing? We're just breaking that skeleton's armor. Yes. Come and get it, nerd. I like this rhythm. There you go. I'm going to keep the cursed towel because it actually doesn't... There's no negative effects to a cursed towel. You know, on my last stream, I feel like I can actually blame Minotaurs for most of my failures. Not because they actually killed me the most, but because they forced me to rush through levels and not be as prepared when I entered the next level. And I'm sure you who've played this game can identify with that. Um, so for this this uh, shops testing stream, I am tempted to turn off Minotaurs. If the game is too hard, you are but, too soft. You know. At the same time, this shop stuff has to feel good, even if you never get to... What do you think you're doing? Nobody said anything about hitting back. Um, even if you have to skip levels because of the Minotaur. Could someone remove undead from the spawn table, Oh, it's please? my! Mine! Blank scroll, scroll of summon. Can I make you interact? I can. I'm a good enough leader for that. You do that. No one wants a Phrygian hat anyway. And I don't have any bottles. Well done. I found once. I'll find you again. I already knew where that boulder was, which is why I was so hasty moving past it. I was not worried about it. All right, well, this last hallway, and there's nothing. That's fine. Okay. Cursed minus two ring of constitution. Strangulation. Might as well get rid of that. Ugh, this cursed fruit juice I keep, the water I won't. Actually, let's see if I can make my human eat the meat, because it's funny. That one was a little moldy. Whatever. Moldy. Leave it out. All right. <laughs> Minotaur again. My luck with these Minotaurs, dude. It's like literally every second level. I'm pretty sure it's a 25% chance, and I'm getting it literally every time. All right. We've seen enough of that. Yo, human. Human. Follow me! Stop complaining. Right. I could have done this more painfully. Uh oh. Troll, what hellhole did you escape? Ah! They are nothing but oversized kobolds. Alright, good job, followers. Get out of my way. That was pretty lucky. Maybe I should just head to the exit. Uh, yeah, let's just head to the exit. Can't afford to hang out with this Minotaur. <laughs> I made this mistake too many times. Yo, nine tomahawks? We can afford to grab 82 gold pieces. That's actually a hell of a find. Okay, Winnie's report goes away. Eh. Throw that away. Actually, what's the value on that? 13. Oh yeah, I made staffs of light worth almost nothing, which I think is appropriate. We don't need two of these maces. They're not worth much. Slingshot, I'm not gonna... Now that I have these tomahawks, I'm not gonna use that. Don't need a leather hat. Oi, Hello, Nerd. for you, you mona! Oh, I didn't mean to kill it. Good job, team. Let's wait till I'm starving and eat moly meat. Because of my light spells, I will not need a torch this level. Oh. One of my characters just got lucky. Not kidding. Not getting a hit by that boulder. Okay, found the exit. Can we find a shop? Ah, oh, cursed brass knuckles. All right, we're not starving yet. Hey, Garvikin. When you say that Barony's been more popular on Twitch lately, I'm very curious. If you'd like to elaborate, please feel free. I actually haven't checked our sales numbers in a little while. Oh, whoops. Oh, why am I? Oh, because I'm hungry. I'm like, why is my strength low? 
Found a Chrome app. Hope it works and downloads the bot. Okay, cool. Alright, now I'm starving. Let's eat moldy meat. Yeah! Alright. I'm just gonna say it was a fine-aged steak. Yeah, I know I'm asking for uh, elaboration on something that may not have much of an elaboration to have, so thank you for chiming in regardless. Oh, did I find another scroll of summon? Because I summoned that slime, so I must have found another scroll of summon. Alright, ooh, it's a food shop. Okay. You know, food shop probably is gonna be good. It's probably gonna be good. Not that I need a lot of food, but I should be able to get some trade skill ups there. And the consumables in the food shop should be decent. Is the follower chat window added recently? Yeah, yeah, the little speech bubbles, those were added uh, recently. I really love them. I think they add a lot to the game. Yeah, those taunts. That's something that Sheridan came up with. You know the drill. Just okay, let so, me know when you mm, found something you want. So see what we have here? Requires 20, 40, 60 trading skill to see what these other items are. But we have two healing potions. Really great. I can only buy one more piece of food or a healing potion. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the healing potion. Yes, yes, the same to you, friend. Do they say names that the NPC is named? Uh, I think so. Yeah, nice new shopkeeper lines. When you bought a healing potion, he said, I don't just let anyone buy that, you know. Oh yeah, I wrote that. The new consumable items all have new lines associated with them. Oh, check this out. Now there's a speech bubble for the sign too. Yeah, it's actually in, in the new consumable items category on the bottom right. That's when they say new lines because those are restricted based off of your charisma and trading skill. If I were to release the Barony Scarony expansion, would you play it on stream? Uh, it's not a dangerous question. It's unlikely. I've only played other people's mods on stream once because in general, I keep the build that I'm using up to date with whatever I'm working on. It's not like I'm testing other people's mods to make sure that they're good to release. And that tends to be how I determine what I'm playing and streaming. That's the reason why I don't play other people's mods on stream, not because I don't think they're worth playing or because I'm against playing other people's mods. I like this room. Let's see what we can pull off. Okay, so I'm trapped in this challenge chamber. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can actually completely bypass this challenge if I want to because of what I found. I wish someone played my stuff on video on stream. Well, you know what? I've actually n never, ever seen anyone play Barony Capture the Orb on stream, which is my PvP mod. It's like the thing that would benefit me the most to watch somebody play because I, I have absolutely no idea how well that works, if it's any fun. Like, th the only experience I have with it is my own playing of it. Me and the Barony team, we played it one time together. I kind of thought of the Capture the Orb mod as like something that we could uh, release to the public. All right, let's see what he says. I see you like my special inventory, he says. Okay, I need to write lines for this. No buy consumable. Humans do speak when you recruit them. I just, uh, it's in the speech bubble and I wasn't looking up at it. Watch. I'll stand my ground here. I'll sit tight. And then I order them. Show me the way, Crusher. Lead the way, Crusher. Wait a sec. This guy doesn't have any leather armor. Let's, uh... Let's give him some armor. Perfect. Alright, so... We got four trade skill. Uh, mostly because we didn't have enough money to buy much of anything else. Oh, and we got another store. Hardware store. That'll have an Olympic, so that's actually quite exciting. But I will have to sell enough stuff to be able to buy it. Torches aren't worth hardly anything anymore, which is intentional. I think it's an improvement. I'm gonna really need to farm to get enough gold for an Olympic. I may not be able to get it this level. If I get lucky, I'll find some sacks. And that'll help. What are you doing? Now? You're fighting a troll? Get out of there. Well, shopkeeper got the kill. I guess I don't mind. Oh, I need to bring my followers with me. Come and kill this guy, please. There we go. I would say something to hint at why the player can't buy it. Like, sorry, I only saved that for my best customers or something like that. Okay, you, you get the, you've been my loyal follower. You've been doing a good job. You get boots first. Get him, get him team. Oh, looks like they already grabbed the gloves, that's good. Oh, Cursed Book of Opening. I'll keep that around for a while. I do need to get all the hardware I can. Oh, a scroll of destroy armor, not that useful. That lantern, sell for a few gold. I need some actual gold. Wow, okay, I found a couple gold sacks. Yo! That was a good find. For what it's <laughs> worth, Ink, the likelihood that anyone is gonna work for Turning Wheel is pretty low. And by anyone, I mean like anyone ever. Our current burn rate for the money we make. 
I do it for nothing. Editing is like one of the few things that I would like to do more of, but I don't have time to do. Like I know it would make my videos more attractive. So that could be a big help. I probably should have saved that helmet for one of my followers. This is actually a game changer for finding stuff to sell because uh, I can sell scrap to the tinker or the hardware shop owner now. It used to be that you kind of couldn't. Um, or like, oh my. No, I, you could, it just wasn't worth enough. Nothing's really changed, but since I don't care that much about tinkering, I'm gonna just sell my scrap and I can turn stuff that I can't sell to him into stuff I can. Okay, pardon my sneeze. I know that I can scrap some more stuff, so I'm gonna come back with more stuff because I want the better quality kit because I know that my kit will break. I mean, a limbic. All right, all right, we're well on our way to being a tinkerer cleric. Look at all this money. We're just gonna drop that. That's never gonna be useful. Cursed water. If I was an incubus, I'd be so psyched right now. I kind of wanted to play uh, an incubus today. I wanted to be an incubus ninja. It was just in my mood that I wanted to do that. Serviceable Alembic. Go. Let's do some like decanting and stuff. Decanting is so cool. Let's decant these two fruit juices together. They cancel out. I had a blessed one and a cursed one. And I mixed them together and made it neutral. That's the only way I could have gotten rid of the cursed one. I could make some booze, but that doesn't help me right now. What's my duplication chance? 60 probably. All right, we risked it and it paid off. I'm well on my way to being a brew. I would buy a 10 if this guy had a freaking 10 opener. Look at that. Skeleton key now costs 700 gold. So that item used to cost like 120. I could buy this bear trap and it would raise my skill by one. Or I could buy these two tins and hope I'll find an opener and it'll have a chance to raise my skill twice. I keep that on hand for my favorite customers, he says. That was good. All right, not bad. Not great, but not bad. I don't want to be a tinkerer and an alchemist. There's just no way my inventory can handle that. But I might as well get the skill ups. What kind of books did I find? Controlling goblins. Ooh, troll's blood. Oh, the spell's too hard for me, but that's okay. This is a level list change I made. Um, we're actually considering making it so the cleric starts with troll's blood. One of the complaints that we see people have when they start the game new and they're like, oh, I want to be a support character and they'll pick the cleric and then the cleric doesn't have any spells. And so they just, they're like, what, what's going on? So I'm thinking about giving the cleric troll's blood, which is too hard for him to cast, but he could cast from the book. And so it's like, He's not, he's not uh, raining on the healer's parade. Like the healer remains the best healer to start with, but having some spell that you can cast for to, to heal your allies, I think could be really helpful. But for now, I just found the book and I'm very excited about casting uh, Troll's Blood. What's in this chest? Oh my gosh, a pickaxe. I can repair my kit. Let's do one round of repair. There we go. I'm just gonna keep the kit for a while to sell stuff. If it's only taking up like two slots in my inventory. Although my weight is getting me down. If I had a nickel for every time I said that. Bottle or key, or sorry, pickaxe or key, which is more likely to be useful in a pinch? I'm gonna wager the key will be more useful because more often I will be surprised by a locked door than surprised by a wall that I was expecting to be able to get through or a boulder. I'm moving pretty slow, which isn't great. Okay, I see a fire staff goblin. He's my primary concern right now is the fire staff goblin. What okay, do you they, he sees me already, stranger? goodness sakes. I'm really worried that that goblin's just gonna cook us. Gosh coward. darn it. Let me pass. Luckily my guys took care of it. I drank a bunch of my healing potions. I have died way too many times to those guys to feel like regretful that I spent three healing potions on it. That could have gone way worse. I think I'm just gonna cook guys until this is gone. Good job to my team. Let's go ahead and cast Troll's Blood. <laughs> I said, let's cast Troll's Blood. Okay. Okay, that's burned out. I'm glad I spent it. Let's keep the broken staff around for a while. We might be able to sell it. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Let's get our, our people in here. She should wear these boots. This is a teleportation mirror. Okay, we got we can do acid and sickness. Let's do it. Good, good. I would like to duplicate with this water, but it's not a good plan right now. Oh, come on. That 4% chance really screwed me. Fruit juice and sickness to make booze, and then I'm gonna confuse the booze to make another acid, and then make another firestorm. Okay, good. Of course, my Alembic is almost dead, but 
I have another Alembic in here. I'm gonna try to duplicate these now that I... Good, oh yes. Book of Healing, I'll take it. I'm not quite sure exactly what's weighing down my inventory. Inventory weight minus 40%. So clearly I have a problem how much junk I'm carrying. Okay, let's get of this, get rid of that staff of opening. I mean, it's worth an amount of money and so is this one, but I just can't afford to have all this crap in my inventory. Now I'm only at minus 35%. Oh, uh, let's, uh... oh. <laughs> that was a close call. Excuse me. There's somebody around this corner. That's a archer goblin. There isn't really a way I can get an a, a eye on her without her being able to see me. I'm gonna see if I can go around the other way. Everybody, let's go. Let's try the long way around. Uh, before we do that, let's finish out this side of the map. A few inches later. We have a bit of a prison situation here. So I'm going to set you right here and i'm gonna set you right here yeah, again i'm not quite sure what's so heavy in my inventory i guess a lot of this equipment is weighing quite a bit i could get rid of this excellent mace yeah that one's pretty worn tins are pretty ex heavy okay i've reduced my weight enough no I heard the boulder and I was like, I'm gonna go to safety. But of course I ended up running just exactly into the spot. Yeah, same exact thing with the boulder. I ended up going exactly into the spot that was not safe. And I should have trusted my instincts because, or I should have trusted my knowledge because I knew that that whole hallway that I was in was boulder free. So the only place the boulder could have come from would be the hallway I just passed. But I wasn't using my brain. I relied on my old strategy of just hiding in the nearest corner and it did not pay off. I'm gonna start over, but I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I will be uh, back in a moment, folks. Oh, here we go. I was waiting for them to get in a fight. Oh. <laughs> 